Okay, welcome back to Dealer Simulator. We are at the warehouse. Let's take a look what we've got for available lockers to buy. I've got $4,500, so I can get a couple of them probably. Um, let's see, let's do a police locker. Boy, they really jumped in price once once you get that um, update. It's, it's horrible. <laughs> it jumped so much. Um, let's see, and we'll do a $2,000 one here. That takes us down to $653, so we don't have much to play with uh, for repairs and stuff, but we should be able to get enough money from products before we need to get stuff repaired. So, seeing we are starting the episode buying the lockers, uh, we're going to actually open them and look at them this time. Usually I don't show you what's in the locker until the next episode, but seeing it's the beginning of the episode, I think we're going to show it. <laughs> okay, let's see what we got. Oh. Uh, we got a lot of old junk in here. Uh, we do have, oh, that's a eh, graphics card. 4090. Okay, well, I think I'll take that home and throw it in my computer because I've got a tw 2080 in my computer right now. <laughs> so, 4090 would, uh, would definitely be nice. Okay, so, so far, $45 table. I was hoping to find, we're just going to open all this, just open it up. Uh, do we have another graphics card? Nice, okay. So we got $1,200 here and we got 1000 there. We're going to take the bags and stuff though that we can search. I'm just going to take those with. Whoop. So we got to do, if you're going to do the three hands, you have to grab the one and two and then hit Q. Whoops. Shoot. Accidentally hit the two. Okay. So go. One, two, Q. Oh. That can go over and Q. Okay. This definitely helps drop stuff quicker. I probably should have put it over the direction that the actual recycle bin was. So, the two graphics cards got me my money back for this. Okay, well that's garbage, and that's garbage, and that's a broken phone. Okay, well let's go recycle this. If I had one feature to this game I could add, it would be, have you played, or have you seen my episodes of uh, construction simulator. Do you know how you can fast travel between job sites in your vehicle? You don't have. It's not like you. The vehicle would stay back, and you would have to find a way to get back to it, or you fast travel back to it. I would love to be able to like fill up the truck and then go to the map, click on the location, hit fast travel, and you end the truck with all the stuff in it would jump right to it because the, the all the driving everywhere is just kind of a waste of time feeling so at least it doesn't have to be repaired it's only a ten dollar table but okay well it's two hundred ugh twenty dollars 270. Okay, well that's not too bad. Now what is that thing I've got in my other hand? Oh, it was the wheel. It almost looked like it was a thing of like wires. Oh, another graphics card. Another $1,200 graphics card. Radeon. Oh, uh, looks like a PlayStation. Got a $400 ring or bracelet. $30 shoes. Nope. Big stuff this time. Which is okay. That That's part of the irritation too, is the trying to get the stuff into the truck. I would like to get the box truck but it's just uh so expensive 
and with the lockers being so expensive, I would have to do those driving jobs to get the money together to do it. And the aforementioned disliking of the driving. So, <laughs> okay, where's all the recycle bins at? She's all the way over here. Yeah, see, I've got. After I did that whole up to eight grade, I can't really afford more than two lockers at a time because of the insane prices now. Okay, well, let's pretend like there's a fast travel button and I'll meet you at the shop. Okay, we are back at the shop. And let's start grabbing the stuff out of here and we'll start going through it when we get inside. Wait a minute, is that just an empty shoebox? It is. Oh my goodness. Oh, I picked it up with Q. Oh, I thought I picked it up with one. Well, hopefully we can get some rings or something out of the... Oh, it's just another empty shoebox. Oh, that graphics card's broken. Shoot. But it's only 170... What? 174 to repair it, so... 179. That one's working, that's good. The 4090, that's what I would want anyways for my computer. Oh, shoot. Ooh, actual shoes. <laughs> Only $30, though. Shoe. Well, that was not much stuff, was it? When oh, that graphics card's broken, too. Oh, we do have something else in there. A broken phone. Okay, let's close the van up. Get the store shut. It's too late at night to open. Okay, let's go through all these bags. Hopefully there's some expensive jewelry in there. Not a bunch of DVD movies like that one. Or that one. At least there are some rings and stuff like that in some of them. Uh, just all crap, 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 like that. Not a great haul so far. And that was an expensive group of lockers, too. Okay, let's see. All the. Oh, jeez. That's hardly even worth it. Yeah, anything I'm gonna trash, I'll just set over there. Snowboard. PlayStation. Jewelry. A watch. It's been a while since I got a watch. Two hundred dollar laptop. Oh gee, what? How did that table get outside? Get. It went right straight through the wall. What we'll do is set all the broken stuff on this table so I can transfer it. Another table. Broken game. Got a. Skateboard, Phew. snowboard, Looks like a phone, trophy, a drum machine. That those things are usually always broken. Or did that? Great. There was a ring or a. Where did that go? You got to be careful not to pick stuff up that's got stuff sitting on top of it because things go shooting all over the place. I, I know there was a, an orange, little orange box with a ring in it. Did it find its way outside too? Check the neighbor's yard just in case. Oh my goodness, it is over here. Two things are over here. Okay, well, be careful when you pick stuff up. Because if there's stuff standing on top of it, you might be searching the neighbor's yard for it. <laughs> right through the wall. See, there's even something in the corner here. That's not a bad deal. Okay, we got a phone. Want to make sure it's the top item. <laughs> got another watch. Whoa! Thousand dollar watch. Didn't realize that. Sixty dollar game. $35 game. Am I running out of shelves? Getting there. But, 
I do have a good amount of shelves, so oh, fifteen dollars. I'm not gonna. Well, actually, I will use it because that's uh pretty much all I have that I can put out. All the rest of it's uh broken. One last thing. Okay, got pretty much everything out. We just have a couple broken things. So I'm gonna jump back to the to the camper. Sleep. Well, we didn't really get much in the way of stuff for new product this time around. Okay, we gotta get our we're gonna get our guys hired. Okay, let's get the repair guy and the research guy. Okay, now let's go get him working on the graphics card. Okay, and we'll get you pricing the stuff on the shelves. Please be working. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I do have a couple shelves available up top. Okay, let's get open. I. The other thing I would implement in the game is um, having more than one customer at a time. Have them s lining up so that you can go one after another. Oh yeah, first guy I know. I, I guess I'll do ten. Oh yeah, go away. Uh oh. Here, fix the phone. That's one thing I don't find much is that scrap that they talk about. Oh my goodness, what is it with the people today? They're like all cheap. Come on. What are you here for? Uh, 250 is as low as I'll go. Oh my goodness, people. Bunch of cheap. Ooh, ooh. Nothing more irritating. <laughs> They should have that upgrade so you can better negotiating skills or something where they ox Hey, there we go. Yay. Actually offered what I was asking. That's cool. It would look good in my computer. Shoes. Come on, people. 45. Go away. Somebody will give me the price that it's worth. 65. I think all my shelves are going to be full. Nobody buys anything. Oh, good. It priced. Oh, good. Somebody's coming for one of the graphics cards. Give me what I'm asking. Holy cow. Uh, yeah, not even. You're, she's not even going to get close to what it's worth if she's giving me, offering me half. <laughs> it's like a steady stream of chicken, baby chicks. Chirp, chirp, cheep, 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 cheep. 40 bucks. Take a walk. Wasted your gas. <laughs> you should put a no negotiation sign outside. It's like it's the price. Yeah, three bucks isn't going to kill me. Yeah, if $10 difference isn't a big deal. Ten bucks is nothing. You find that in your couch. Uh, let's see. Yeah, take it. Come on. Oh, 75. Take a walk. Ah, we can put something else out. Yay! Good for you. Yeah, five bucks. Not. Oh, I'm loving the pricing us. Pricing for us. Do we have anything on the table? Nope. How about we uh fire the worker, the repair? Because I have nothing else to repair. Yeah, they need to add another upgrade. Better negotiation skills, and it's like once you hit, it should be like a tier system on negotiation, and once you hit like the top, say, have a three tier negotiations so like your chances of getting a better deal with the first tier is like 15% and then 
forty-five percent, and then once you get the the top tier, then people come in and just buy it for what you're selling it for. No negotiation whatsoever. Like the no negotiation upgrade would be really cool. <laughs> oh, go home and cry. <laughs> He obviously didn't want it that bad. So. Okay, why is that? Okay, for some reason that wasn't labeled. Yay! Thank you, have a great day. Thank you for paying what you, the product was worth and not trying to rip me off. I appreciate it, have a good day. Okay. Yay, another one! Thank you. I have people ask all the time when I'm doing for being wasp removals and stuff. They're like, "Oh, do you do discounts and or could you do it for this much?" And I'm like, "Well, if I wasn't worth what I'm charging, I wouldn't be charging what I'm charging." So by doing a discount, you're basically saying that you're not worth what you're what you're charging. So. I never give discounts because the work I do is worth more than I charge. Does that make sense? It's like say I do a removal from a wall where I have to pull out, you know, pull down the soffit and get up in there and you're getting attacked by a thousand yellow jackets and you know, I charge $300 that job was worth 500 and I only charged three but you want me to do it for 150 <laughs> like uh yeah no not gonna happen if the quality of the work was a hundred dollars I'd charge a hundred dollars you know no nope, quality of the work is what is charged and if I tried to give a discount I would have to raise my price like if I gave a $25 discount I would have to raise my price by 25% before I gave the discount so I'm making what I'm supposed to make <laughs> which 90 98% of my customers know the value of what I do when it comes to being wasp removals because so many times I get like a hundred you know fifty to a hundred dollar tips all the time after doing a job you know like it'd be three hundred bucks and they'll give me four you know or the job will be you know like three hundred four hundred bucks five hundred bucks and they'll give me another fifty or something like that you know and it's so appreciated it makes you you know and I've had more than a few customers tell me say well that's all you're charging it's like you should charge more and I'm like, yeah, I sh probably should, but I haven't changed my prices in the last, what, 15 years? <laughs> Which isn't good, I should, because with inflation, everything's going up. Uh, 65. Good, people are starting to get less cheap. <laughs> oh, somebody bought my graphics card. I didn't even realize it. I was supposed to go in my computer. I was going to swap out my 2080 and put the 40, 4090 in there. Yeah, take it. Wait a minute. Cannot sell damaged merchandise. I don't. Where do I have damaged merchandise? Oh. Why is that on there? Whoops. I guess I'll, what I'll do, I'll just put it in here for tomorrow. What's, when I bring my employee back. I'm not rehiring him for an hour for 10 seconds. Uh, yeah. No. Uh, 950 is as low as I'm going to go for that. Goodbye. Yikes. Sales are slow. <laughs> it's already $1,500 and I haven't even sold more than one. Basically, I've sold the value of one of the lockers I bought. Yay. Good. Is that? I think that might be the watch that the lady, the last lady, tried to rip me off for. I'm not really cut out for retail anymore. <laughs> I was, I was in retail a lot of years. It kind of ruined me. <laughs> Dealing with customers not really my cup of tea anymore. After what, 
uh, how many years did I do? <laughs> a lot of years of retail management, retail. Funny thing is, is the my best job ever is this one doing YouTube, and this one I make no money. <laughs> I make look, pennies. My bee business, I make on average two hundred dollars an hour. This the amount of hours I put in, based on everything that I make, it's probably figuring out to the amount of hours I'm probably making. 10 cents an hour or something like that. <laughs> it's crazy. But this is the funnest of all of them. At times. <laughs> and this one's got the most overhead, most expense to do it. You know, $1,300 computer, all the games, the cameras, the hours. Okay, I gotta stop talking about it. I'm gonna talk myself out of doing this. <laughs> 25. Come on. No, it's fun. I, I enjoy making videos. It just would be nice to have a little bit more uh, income from it. Seeing this is my only income. I want to be one of those people that say, I make a living from playing video games. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> At least not yet. Definitely doing better now than I was when I first started. For the first for four years. I could have been monetized four years ago. When I had Dino Riders on my channel. Because I had thousands. Or millions I mean. I had millions of views. I have millions of views now. But it took another f three and a half years. To get to the million and a half views. Or whatever I have now. Back then it was like I was. Ah, what was it? I, I'm trying to think back, because when I with my Dino Riders videos, I was getting, you know, what four thousand views a day or something like that, just on the Dino Riders videos. And I had a couple like ten million views or something like that, and I had like averaging. 13,000 watch hours or something. It was it was insane if they would have let me monetize at that. It would have been awesome. What I should have done when I put them on there, I, I wasn't thinking about you know YouTube at the time. I just put them on there so people could enjoy them because I had found them. Um, somebody had recorded them off a of TV or something um, at, with, on VHS and then they put them onto DVD and then I bought the DVD. And that was, it was just cool to see them. I should have done, as I should have edited with into it, you know, like did some commentary or something, because then I could have, because they weren't copywritten or anything. They had, There was no copyrights on them. Uh, it was just the fact that it was just somebody else's work, and I didn't edit them at all. I was thinking about trying to put them back on, problem is is I can't find my DVD of them I, I've looked everywhere they might be in Illinois I don't know I haven't seen them in years because I had put them onto my computer and it's like impossible to find the DVDs anymore which stinks it was an awesome show would love to put it back on the channel and I would just you know like do commentary talk about them as they're playing or something put my face down in the corner so it's you know because that was a lot of my early subscribers before I went you know when it was just Mark Kirshner's YouTube channel um, before I turned it into a Northern Ants was going to be a ant keeping channel wasn't going to be gaming or anything. It was just going to be ants and um, maybe some nature videos and stuff like that. Snowmobiling and fishing and things. Because um, I was like, oh, I was so excited. I saw, you know, like uh, Ants Canada with millions of subscribers and stuff. And I'm like, oh, shoot, if he could do it. And I was turning out just as good a quality of videos as he was. But 
you know, the view counts and subscriber counts and stuff just weren't weren't there to make a go of it with um, just ants and stuff. And like the view counts on ant keeping videos have just dropped off dramatically. Hopefully, once it gets warm again, I'll start, you know, getting some more ants and stuff. And I've got one colony left of harvester ants. I was waiting for them to start getting, like, winged ants, like winged females and males, but my colony still hasn't done it. And I, I bought that colony back in 2020 or something, so it's like a four-year-old colony. But they still haven't produced winged workers and there's a winged ants yet there's just a lot of workers <laughs> haven't really put out any videos on it for a while customers won't come because it's too late oh and my worker went home okay well I still unfortunately I still have both of my graphics cards on the sh on the shelves nobody came in for those two I think that's all that's left too five grand I think I'm gonna have to not get so many lockers I guess this next time uh, let's get closed in the next episode we will be going back grabbing another locker I don't know if I'm gonna get two lockers. I want to try to save up some money but I went out with you know I, I profited that day I think I had 4500 bucks at the beginning of the day and I got five so it's like I made 500 bucks over what I spent. Not really worth it. It's not really profitable. If I would have sold these, that would have been better because then, it, you know, those are 1200 bucks a piece. But I think people did try to offer me, but they wanted to offer me like 700 bucks or something like that. I'm like, yeah, no, not going to happen. Sorry. <laughs> okay, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the advice and stuff like that. I, I know I don't always follow it completely, but. I take bits and pieces of the the advice because I kind of want to make the game my own too but I do really appreciate because there's a lot of things I don't know and let me know is great thank you so much for that um, thank you so much to Heather for being a channel supporter member um, she hasn't been around lately because she's got a new job or something so she had, I don't see her commenting and stuff but um, being a member is super helpful and stuff and I'm not sure, but Chris said he's probably going to be re-signing up today. So um, thank you to Chris for being a channel member also. Um, and uh, thank you. And thank you everybody for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing, all that fun stuff. Have a great rest of your day.